And don't mind the time Forget all that's been Get lost in a park Find a tree that will last Find a secret path That leads to a house Climb the stairs to the roof Lay flat on your back we're still talking with John Williams of Titan Aircraft. We're still at Sun and Fun 2012, but now we're looking at something that I've got quite a bit of time flying in, in several different models, and there are several different models. This is the Titan Tornado. Welcome, John. Yep. Tell us a little bit about the Titan that we're looking at and a, and a short summary of the various models that you've got in this aircraft, which does fit in the experimental uh, amateur built class, is that correct? That's right. But okay. can still be flown by, by lights. Sure, sure. Lightsport Easily pilot. meets the right. parameters of, even though it may not be an LSA official. Right. Right. So a sport pilot can fly it, or a private or better pilot who wants to use the privileges of a sport pilot can exactly. fly this aircraft. So this is just one. This is a two-seater. What else is in the line, John? Well, well we have, uh, there, there's really four different models. We have the, the single place, which, which uh, really is kind of a misnomer because it, it has uh, a jump seat in it, but no, no controls in the rear. Ah, okay. And then, uh, and then you have the the D model. This is this is the the standard bearer, really, of the of the uh, tornado. It is a 20, 23 and a half foot wing, and uh, it can be powered from anything from uh, uh, well, five hundred three uh, up through uh, uh, Jabru uh, thirty three hundred. Okay. It's probably the biggest engines we we have. Now. But the the engine I like best for it is the the 912S. You know, it just uh, it's a horsepower real, 912S. Real good marriage, and it cruises at about 120 with the uh, with the 912S. So it's, it's a it's a real sweet uh, sweet uh, combination. Now this is a welded steel interior with mostly or, or is it all metal? I guess yes. you, you yes. got a little bit of fiberglass yeah, up you got front. Fiberglass nose, and, uh, and sometimes we, we put a, a, a fiberglass. Uh, Boat deck on, it, on the back, there, but, but sometimes that's fabric. It could be could be metal fabric or fiberglass. That's a thing to keep stuff from getting into the prop, right? Is that yeah. what that's for? Yeah. And of course, a few steel components. I'm guessing in the landing gear, but right. most of this is a welded steel with a metal exterior, and the exterior uh, in the fuselage anyway is non-structural. Uh, no, it's semi monocoque Ah, semi monocoque yeah. Okay, I guess yeah. I didn't realize. So that yeah, so this is a, is semi monocoque So okay. you're using the steel and the and the. Uh, and, and it's an all metal wing. And it's, and it's an all-metal all metal wing, and you know what? Twenty-three and a half feet sounds like it just wing. can't be enough. I mean, when you're sitting in it, I recall it feels like if you stuck your arms out both sides, you'd almost touch the wingtips. Not quite, obviously, but it really works well on that little tiny wing. Yeah, it's it's a real high lift uh, airfoil, and, uh, and it works extremely well. So, and in fact, it makes a real good float plane because of the, the relatively small wing area. Ah, sure, uh, but, but easier real maneuvering, not as right. subject to wind forces when you're on the water. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, so, and that's a big so deal for a great big winged airplane. Exactly. And uh, so then we make the uh, so the the next model up from this is a stretch model, which is again one of the models that I got into building uh, that, that delayed the, the Mustang <laughs> a little bit. And then and what does that do besides it, obviously what it stretches does itself, is it actually it actually adds adds uh, two inches to the height. Okay, a little and, more height. And then. Uh, uh, in uh, three inches to the back seat area. Okay. And then so the back seat. If someone is in the back seat, then they're going to be a little more comfortable. Right. The front seat's about what it yeah, was. Yeah. The, the, the front seat's exactly what it was, and the front seat of these are extremely uh, comfortable. Yeah. As you as you know, if you've flown one. And then the uh, yeah, then the back seats are the ones that aren't stretched. Right. Oh, you better be uh, probably eat a few less hamburgers yeah, yeah. than we typically like to eat <laughs> right. in America. But, yeah. yeah. But and so you better stretch. be limber getting in and out. Right? <laughs> yes, right. But the front seat's actually pretty easy to get in and out. Right. 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 Yeah. Very easy. And then the uh, then we went to the super stretch, which we added another two inches to the to the height, and uh, another three inches to the to the back seat area. So now we're four inches higher and six inches longer. <laughs> right. oh, okay. So so then we were able to put the front seat in the back. And it's just as comfortable in the back seat. As oh, I see the, the the construction of that seat right. versus the other one back there, which I can see it's just sort of a seat right. cushion in the back, and, and it's probably not as comfortable to sit in for exactly. a longer time. Exactly. This one I recall is it's, it's very comfortable and, uh, and it supports and you well out in your leg. One's got a cargo pod or something underneath it. Yeah, and then we, we all of them will take the cargo pod for for hauling. Uh, yeah, which looks kind of like that Cessna one that right. you've seen in exactly. a lot of pictures. And it, it hinges carries quite a bit, though. And it, it? and it does carry quite a bit. And, and it's uh, and it actually doesn't do anything. Doesn't hurt the speed. Is that right? right. Wow. Yeah. I've, I've flown with them where uh, 
where I thought, well, he's going to be easy to keep up with. He's got that car, cargo in it, and they were running away from him. Is that right? Is that right? It may have helped. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, when this comes out, then, how are we offering it? It's coming in kit form, I would It's say. always kit form, yeah. And, and what kind of building times and what this kind is, of... This is only... The, the beauty of this airplane is the two, two, the standard two... This model right here is about a 350-hour build. Wow, 350 so it's, hours. So it's very... That's a summer build then, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's very or easy. Whenever build. you start it, And it's... Uh, the, the wing really builds and you can build a wing in about a week. Wow. And yeah. uh, uh, so it's it's a it's a very easy easy build. Now for all your aircraft, are you offering a builder assist at the factory? Yes, do you we do, do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah we do. And do you have representatives around the country at all? We, are you we doing have dealers. dealers or we have all? dealers that do the same thing. Okay, so they do uh, builder assist closer to the customer. Right. Yeah. Okay. And with the tornadoes, uh, there's very little builder assist in the factory because it's such an easy build. Yeah. Uh, with the tornadoes though, or with the Mustangs, we do a lot of builder assist. Okay. In the okay. So we've got we probably have. At any given time, we probably have uh, half a dozen planes going together. With the now, this is something that FAA blesses, by the way. It's yeah. perfectly fine for you to give all kinds of technical and expertise and experience to those people. Because you it's just safer. can't physically right. do the work, but right. but they recognize they like that. In yeah, fact, because it's safer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In I mean, the end, they know, uh, yeah. I don't know, don't, don't do that. Right. Yeah. You're still doing it yourself, but somebody there who really knows it is giving you education. And, and you catch it if they make a mistake. Right. Which so. saves the money in the long run, too. Yeah. Now the other thing with the tornado is they're flying this right now in Afghanistan. Are they really? The, the military is using <laughs> the uh, Taliban have a Titan tornado. <laughs> no. <laughs> the uh, uh, well, in fact, the the uh, the company has uh, has a, uh, several uh, tornadoes that are, are UAVs. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, really? And, uh, Remotely pilot. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And, and uh, well, that's no fun. You've got to be in this thing to have any fun. <laughs> well, that's probably fun uh, uh, flying them around from a. From I a imagine trailer. it is. You're nice and air conditioned all the time. I suppose. And nobody's shooting at you. And nobody's shooting at you. There's always that, so that's good. I've never had anyone shoot at me in a tornado. So, it so it's uh, that's kind of a, a neat, a neat project, and we've been doing that for a number of years. And, and, uh, so they've they've got uh, it was deployed about eh, I'd say about two years ago in, in Afghanistan and, <laughs> and there and my understanding is it's been very successful. There. So uh, very interesting. So, now you yeah. told us earlier when we were talking about the Mustang, I think you said the number was 700 of these are flying. Yeah. And from what year until now has that 700 been uh, put out the door? 91. 91. So you're a little Through slightly today. over 20 years. Right. On the Titan Tornado series, mm -hmm. 700 of them flying, and uh, that's a pretty good performance year in and year out. Yeah. How has the response been to this since you've come out with the Magic Mustang? There, well, you know, you know the, the taking thing away is, the interest here, or is it just a different crowd? I think it's a different crowd. Well, not completely though, because we've had some converts from the Tornado into the Mustang. Okay, but uh, well, yeah, they already know the company now. But so of course, I yeah, I've devoted most of my time to the Mustang because that that was a uh, you know passion right. and. Uh, so, so I, you know, I'm, I'm probably accused sometimes of, uh, of uh, ignoring or where the, the tornadoes become a stepchild, but, <laughs> but it's, but it's not. It's but a you're great, still selling them today. People oh yeah. are buying and, them and, today. And when I get in the tornado, uh, you know, every once in a while I'll get in one and fly it, and it always puts a smile on my face. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's just like uh, I have a short, real short field in the uh, runway of my house, and uh, and it's about 800 feet, and I'll get in, the, in a tornado and take off, and halfway down the runway. You're Trees. Is that right? And, and it's Excellent. just, and it just, uh, you look around. And it's like, wow. Yeah, I've I've always enjoyed flying the Titan yeah. Tornado. So, we want to get more information about the whole, all of the different tornadoes, the various stretch models, and so forth. Where do we go to find that out? Jeff? Titanaircraft.com. Titanaircraft.com. Every, everything everything on available on the same site. Right. Now and. Uh, uh, if people want to uh, wanted to order one of these, what's the delay to get a kit and start? I think you're probably four to six weeks. On okay, a, on a pretty tornado. fast on yep. that then too. And as we said, yep. three and a half, three hundred fifty hours of build time, we're ready to go. Yeah. And have you ever been able to fit your butt into one of these now? I have. Oh, yeah. I fit pretty well into these, and uh, I think I've flown well, maybe not one of the stretch models in there, but yep. virtually all the other ones. And I got to fly Rogers with the cargo pod and yep. some other things. That's all available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.